Hi guys, and welcome to my vlog. It's only 23 days left to go now until DW. Now today's session I was on the pattern machine and I did 24 times four minutes with one minute rest in between. So it's just over a two hour paddle in total and it's a great long solid session. It's an ideal training session for DW. I've done a few of them thus far and I'll get a few more in between that now and Easter. Now in today's vlog, what I want to talk about is paddling on the tideway and preparation for that. So here at Teddington is the last portage uh, before Westminster Bridge and you shouldn't need to stop at all now when you leave here until Westminster. So it's important to make sure that you have all the fluid and all the food that you need um, to get you down to the bridge. So what I do is I put on a camelback um, and I have a bag that goes around my neck on some string and I can put my hand into it, it has loads of food. So we eat constantly going down on the tideway and obviously the camelback has got enough fluid in there to get me down. I also change my deck and I have a descent spray deck um, and that comes up to there and that's just in case it gets wavy and that will ensure it, uh, all the waves are kept out. And another thing that I do is I put an extra seat pad uh, on my uh, seat because my bum really starts to kill, especially as we get towards sort of Q Bridge. So an extra seat pad, and, I, and that really makes a difference. Um, and take a few painkillers too, because um, you know they're not going to do any harm, are they? So uh, um, so that's all I do here. So when we leave here, we don't stop again into Westminster. And it's really important we don't stop into Westminster because if you start getting into the habit of stopping, um, if you stop once, you want to stop more. So even though crews should not stop at all when they're on the tideway, it is important that sport crews do plan to see their crews at regular intervals. And this is mainly just to spur them on and motivate them. But it's also just in case there are any other issues that sport crew can be on hand to assist and help with. But from a paddler's point of view, it also helps sort of um, take your mind off paddling because you're thinking about, you know, seeing your sport crew next, uh, you know, then waving you on and it's something else to, to focus on. Now support crews need to think, well, where are they going to see their crews? Um, because many support crews come to a bridge like this, which is Hammersmith, and to be frank, it's not really much good to anybody. Because if their paddlers have a problem, well, it's a long way down to the river. Often you can't hear the paddlers when they're shouting up. Often the paddlers can't see you. Uh, and should we try to then get to them, we've then got to run across the bridge and try and find somewhere. And like many bridges, there aren't that many good sort of um, get in and get out places. So you need to think carefully about where you're going to see your paddlers, preferably somewhere where you can get to your crews quickly. Support crews should pick instead more accessible locations to see and cheer on their crews, such as this pontoon upstream of Hammersmith Bridge, which jets out into the river. And it's an easy get in and get out should the crews need to stop. And it's also easy for the support crews to see the paddlers and vice versa. Important thing to note for the paddlers when going further downstream is the river then starts to bend and twist quite a lot. And there is a tendency for the paddlers to one, cut the corners and to hug the banks. Now, this should be avoided at all costs. Um, one, because it's the slowest route, cutting the corners or hugging the bank. And two, actually it's safer. It's safer to paddle in the, mi in the middle of the river because there are less obstructions and there's lots of buoys and um, boats moored near the bank. And these come, come at you quite quickly if you're not careful. So it's best actually to stay out of their way and straight down the middle. And uh, if you stay in the flow straight in the middle, then before you know it, you'll be at Westminster uh, home and drive. 